Hello everybody and welcome, Melissa here at TCT Crafts. So glad to have you guys today. Today we're gonna to be doing a really easy project, something super simple, won't take that long, and it's going to be beautiful. So we're gonna be doing a little candle arrangement today, a little Christmas candle arrangement. Um, we're gonna be using this little candle ring um, that we do have in the shop. So it's got some pine around a metal ring and you can just set your candle right up there on the top, okay? And then we're gonna be using just a couple of items today. It's gonna to be super easy. So we're just gonna be using some artificial pine sprays. Um, I've got this one as well. And then we're gonna go in with just a touch of color with these little um, holly berry bushes, okay? So just three items today and it's gonna be super easy and super quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our pine sprays. Now these pine sprays are um, a little bit longer stems, so we're gonna cut them in half. We sold out of the ones with the shorter stems, so we're just gonna use what we have, and we're just gonna cut them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up probably two or three of these. I think I brought four. Okay, I went ahead and cut up three just because I know me. I use a lot of product in my designs and I can guarantee we're gonna probably use all three. It's not even a fourth one. So I just went ahead and cut up all three. Now I'm gonna take, there is, most of these are longer pieces. There are a few little shorter pieces. So I'm gonna save the shorter pieces. Right now I'm gonna use the longer pieces to go on our sides here. So I'm just going to dip it in my glue. And I'm just gonna push that right in there. Give it a bend. Okay, and let's find another long piece. We're gonna go on the opposite side. Sure, I'm getting in there good. Okay. Now I'm going to start going in with some of our shorter pieces. I'm just going to lift up that pine and go right under there. And we're just going to start going all the way around. Easy peasy. These make good um, multiples if you sell your designs. Um, these are good to put in your shop because they're super quick, very easy to do. They don't take a lot of product. So you can add these as multiples. And you know that, especially if you sell on Etsy, they like multiples. Just going all the way around. Okay, I hit that one all the way in there really good. I don't have to cut it. We just don't want, we want to keep with our perimeter, not get too long. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut this one down because I need a shorter piece. Go in close to that ring. And remember our candle will be little candle will be up there. These little battery operated candles are great. You could either sell them with or without the candle. And I would have preferred to have a red candle, but this is just what I had on hand, so I just wanted to show you guys. So I will either order a pack of red candles and sell it with the candle, or you can just sell it with the candle. I'm not sure yet. I think last year I sold them with the candle. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just going right around close to the candle ring or to the little candle spot. This little guy needs a haircut. There we go. I want to cut up another one. So I'm just cutting them in half. And that's giving me two smaller pieces to use. I mean, technically, you could just sell it with just a pine. Um, I'm gonna put a couple pieces underneath. You could just use the one pine. Look how much, look how much better that already looks just with just with the pine added. So the option is yours, my friend. But you know, I'm not going to stop there and add other things just because I want a little bit more. Gotta be extra, right? So I'm going underneath some of these spots, just hitting a couple because we still have our other things to add. I'm going to go down here on the end because we really didn't get this much love other than the one piece. piece left we'll save it see where we need to fill in later already looking pretty all right let's add in our next pine so this one will cut up because I don't want or I don't think I'm gonna want the stems that long I'll play with it here in a second I could leave the, we can leave them long down here on the ends. There, see that? See, that looks good right there. So we'll leave that together. I'm just parting the seeds and pushing that up under there. I love how that just kind of blends nicely there. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to part the seeds. I think I'm going to cut this one little piece off, cut it down just a hair. long but as we start going around I want shorter pieces so I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to start layering these in together. So I'm going close to that ring. Okay, 
Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. Now this piece is actually a little bit bigger, but I think we can make it work. So I'm gonna pull that one little piece off again so I can cut this down just a little bit. And we can always add those um, little nubs on picks and get them as filler later. Okay, so I'm just getting that piece added. I cut this one. Okay, and I think we've pretty much gone all the way around. I think I want another piece right in there. these around the center. So I'm just cutting some of the little pieces and I'll put them on picks. And I can go towards the center with a couple of these little pieces. Put our little candle back up there. See how we're looking. Beautiful. This ring is a little crooked. There we go. All right. Now let's add in our. So we have one more brush of this. I don't think we're going to use it, but we'll have it for filler if we need it. Um, but let's add in some of this. Give it a little pop with those berries. So this I will be cutting up. And this is optional. You could just do a red berry if you didn't want to do um, the little holly leaves. You could just go in with a red berry. I think this is fun. Gives it some color. Kind of place them sporadic. Where it looks like we have a little bit of some holes. Just kind of blend those in there. Together. I cut 
this little nub there. Okay, I have one more piece. So let's cut that in half. looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to add it. Maybe go right up in here with it. There we go. I just think with a red candle right here, beautiful that would be to switch you guys okay so here is our little candle arrangement I think it turned out very pretty and super simple we did that in does it tell me the time no it doesn't tell me the time on how long it took but I mean probably what 20 minutes so super easy great little multiplier in your shop Again, if you don't want to use the leaves, just go in with some little red berries. It would be beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your first time to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. So we like to do all things seasonal decor here, wreaths, centerpieces, tablescapes, swags, all the things. So we would love to have you subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye y'all.